Hi there everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well. Mine really is. I started this morning with a, a walk, an early morning walk with my husband Anthony and I and it was just gorgeous here on Paradise Island. There's a few tourists, not too many, so it's fairly quiet and we went out and we walked down by the cloisters uh, which is a lovely lovely sort of old monastic style building that was erected I think it was from the I, I don't know they brought stones from the stones from France and it's for a 14th or 15th century sort of mon monastery or the remains of a monastery that's been built but anyway so we went for this wonderful walk and we you know headed out um, past the cloisters and then we turned around and started to come back and as we were heading back, we could hear this bird and we're hearing a lot of birds actually, but one bird in particular, which was changing its sound, you know, quite frequently. So Anthony said to me, wow, it's, he said, it's so amazing when you listen. He said, that's a mockingbird. And he said, it changes its tune really quickly and it can imitate all kinds of birds and I listened and sure enough that was what was happening and then Anthony said and you know they don't build their own nests and I said yes I actually heard that I heard that they rob from other birds nests uh, they're real scavengers they take bright objects uh, I don't know whether they actually take over other birds nests but they certainly sort of pilfer from uh, other birds nests and they are fantastic imitators. And then I had this huge epiphany, which is the magpie really sort of emulates or presents what happens quite a bit with respect to spiritual teachers that you see on, on social media. And I've talked about this before with respect to teachers that present and they charge you know high prices for courses and programs and so on and so forth and it, it not all I must say but in many cases what they're doing is they are essentially poaching from teachings that they've read or studied they are presenting as if they have they have earned and recognized the truth of the teachings from their own direct experience but they're essentially singing the tune of borrowed information it does not come from source itself so it, that reminded me of the magpie and the magpie is an incredible imitator so you know I wanted to hop on today to say when you are choosing to study with someone, with a spiritual teacher, just make sure that the place they are speaking from is authentic and it's not just borrowed or poached information. And one of the, the real ways to test, if you like, the authentic, authenticity of a teacher or a teaching that comes from his or him or her is to check and see how your state is affected by listening and engaging with that teacher's um, teachings or presentations because I can absolutely guarantee that if uh, a teacher, a sage, a guru or an enlightened master is authentic then whatever they present, whatever they share with you will have a profound effect I always say it's a bit like a depth charge that is dropped, you know, a teaching, and it might be the simplest thing, but it will be dropped, it will land inside of you, and then it just kind of explodes, and it creates this movement, this profound movement, and this shift in your consciousness that does not kind of revert back and contract down again. So there's this kind of ever-growing movement and expansion of awareness that happens 
when an authentic teacher or an authentic guru shares wisdom because, and it might be a joke, it might even be something really humorous, but the point is that the place from which the teaching or the message or the simple statement arises is from source itself. It is not just borrowed information from an, you know another being. It is, it is spoken and shared from an authentic experiential place that is profundity itself and it, it carries the energy of source itself and it is that that does the work when it lands in you. So in other words, watch out for magpies, don't be fooled, check in with yourself with respect to what is happening, there'll be a resonance, there'll be a vibration, there'll be some sort of movement, some great epiphany, some great shift in you if what you're hearing is coming from, from source or if it isn't. If it isn't, then it'll just be interesting words. It might be funny words. It might sound convincing, but it won't have any real and lasting effect. So again, watch out for magpies. Check in with yourself. Connect in with yourself. Notice when there's resonance and when there isn't resonance and look and see what is being activated within you and what the effects of that activation are because that you know after an activation there'll be movement there'll be a shift there'll be an opening there'll be this this expansion that you can feel that is just incredible it's really beyond words even though we try and use words to detail what this is it's it's often difficult so anyway, this is my little hop on today that I wanted to share with you. Watch out for magpies. Uh, as always, if you would like to leave a comment or ask a question below, please feel free to do so. Again, you can find me also on Instagram at Julie Hoyle Official. And as I've been saying several times, you can also find me on the Ajita Casa app, which is free to download. And you can join the Ajita Casa community where we're having these really in-depth conversations about what self-realization is, what the end of seeking looks like, and you know, in between what the challenges of shadow work may bring up within you. So please join me. Join me on the app where I am hosting an amazing group which is called Awake Now What? where we're having these really profound conversations of self-discovery. As always, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I'm on here and sharing for you. I'm sharing my state with you. I'm sharing what I have discovered and what is authentic and real and true here, right now, after the end of seeking. And I really encourage you to engage and to join in, join in the conversations. All right, so that's me over and out for today. As always, keep shining bright, be well, take it easy, and I will see you soon. Bye.